we will be factoring the given polynomial 3x squared minus 15x plus 18 using the box method of factoring. Now, remember to check to see if there is not a greatest common factor that you could possibly pull out. In this case, we notice that 3 goes into each of these terms, so we can indeed factor out a greatest common factor here. So rewriting, let's say we pull out a 3, well that's going to leave us with an x squared minus 5x plus 6. So we factor out a GCF. Now the only thing to remember is that at the end we're going to need to rewrite this 3 as part of our answer. So now we have a new trinomial to look at which is this x squared minus 5x plus 6. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that and apply our box method for factoring. So we write our first term x squared in the first box and we write our last term which is plus 6 in the very last box. Again we multiply the coefficients so in this case 1 times 6 is 6. So I'm going to look at all the factors of 6. So the first ones I have are 1 and 6. 1 times 6 gives us 6 and 2 times 3 which also gives us 6. Now we need to find some combination that will give us minus 5 here. So let's recall here for a minute that the only way for us to get a positive value here is if we had a positive times a positive and a negative times a negative. So we're going to have to add these sets of numbers and the only combination that could possibly give us a 5 are 2 and 3 here. Now in this case we need a negative 5 so the only way to get that is if we had a minus 2 and a minus 3 because that's the only combination that will give us negative 5x here. So very well. We found out what our two factors are. So suppose we write minus 2x here and minus 3x here in our remaining boxes. Now we will factor the greatest common factor out in each of the rows and then in each of the columns. And that will have our answer factored for us. So let's look x squared minus 2x. Well, the only thing that they have in common, the greatest common factor in this case, is an x. Minus 3x and a plus 6. Well, the greatest common factor here would be a 3. And in this case, a minus 3, since it's touching this box, and it's negative. Then we look at the columns. x squared minus 3x. Well, the greatest common factor here again is an x. So I'll write that here. And then I have minus 2x plus 6. Well, yet again, the greatest common factor is 2. But in this case, it will be a minus 2 since it's touching the box right here. And this box has a negative value inside. So I have factored my trinomial. Now my two sets of terms here are x minus 2 and x minus 3. But wait, remember that when we started off, we had factored out a 3. So this 3 is part of our answer here on the outside. So here is our answer factored completely. So once again, you can FOIL and then at the end distribute this 3 and you should obtain 3x squared minus 15x plus 18.